Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts. I'm really excited today we get to talk about and launch the second songbook. Uh, so if you're familiar, um, a year or so ago we put out our first songbook, uh, 12 modern melodic songs for the native flute. These are 12 ballad style songs. So they're a little bit slower, maybe a little bit more a um, little bit more emotion and love in these songs. Uh, the name of the songs in this songbook, I get this question quite a bit. So there's After All, New Beginnings, Bird in the Wind, Down the Road, Dare to Dream, Golden Meadows, Find a Way, No Ordinary Love, Tears of Hope, Promised Moments, Thinking of You, and The Last Dance. So these come from a collection of different CDs that I've put out over the years, but they all have that um, kind of that ballad style uh, theme to them. So that's kind of where we uh, wanted to put these uh, all these songs together. I want to show you a couple of things on my website and also what is and is not included in this songbook. So um, we offer the songbook in a physical form. So it's about 150 or 60 pages uh, long. We offer it in a digital version as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but there's three different versions of the song. This follows the same path as the first songbook, so this rings true for that songbook as well. In the so you'll have the songs, each twelve uh, the twelve songs, um, in three different formats. One is with the finger diagrams, so that's the little flute thing and the staff of music up here without embellishments so you don't have to worry about those clunking up the song uh, this follows the three-step process which i teach by um, the second version of the songs come with the finger diagrams and the the nikai tab up here with the um with the embellishments um, the acronyms for the embellishments shown in the finger diagrams and lastly the third the third um, way that the music comes in the third section of the book is without finger diagrams. So if you read Nikai Tab, Nikai Tablature, which is what this is and not the finger diagrams, um, then you reduce a four page, five page song down to two. So it really works well there. Um, so that is what the song book itself looks like. Each song has been put into three different formats. I want to share my screen and show you something that we did for the first songbook. We did it for this songbook too. We changed one little thing, so I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you um, some of the other resources that we have for this songbook. Something else that we realized when uh, we were putting together these songs is that um, the majority of these songs were written in G sharp, which is an odd key for a lot of folks. They either have a G or an A, and this kind of sits between those two. So one of the things we did was um, we made the main components uh, that I'm going to show you here in a second in the key of G. So 10 of the songs work with the key of G, and two of the songs out of the 12 work in the key of D. So no more scrambling around to pick up all these odd different keys of flutes but I want to show you something here. Uh, let me share my screen. And what I want to show you is uh, we have the uh, couple of different options for the songbook. So not only do we have the physical and digital copy, which you can do, uh, but we offer a couple of different things. So I wanted to make sure that I'm, um, I'm explaining what is involved here. We'll get to this in a second, the Learn to Play 12 Songs Volume 2, tutorials and more. I want to show you behind the scenes of that. Backing tracks for all 12 of these songs. Okay, this is a this is an extra thing that you'll get um, or that you can get. Um, and again, what we did with this is it's not just that one specific key. So we took the backing track and we offer each backing track in five different keys, sometimes six. We threw in an extra one because we had to go just a little bit more to hit that one key. Um, you'll also get the original recordings of these 12 songs. Now, for this, you're going to get the original key. So some of these are in G sharp, some are in C, some are in E. But again, um, you're going to get those in the original key, but also pitch shifted to either G or D. Uh, because we find that if you can match tone with learning a song, it really is a stronger way to learn. 
Now, the other thing is um, you can also get a digital version. So you get both. So you don't have to scan this music or anything. We've already done that work for you. So these are a couple of bundles. You can get the physical plus digital. So you get the physical book, the digital book, uh, learn to play 12 songs, tutorial, um, the backing tracks in five different keys. There's like 62 or three different backing tracks here. Um, the original recording, so that's 12 songs. Um, so there's like 24 recordings there because we did it in two different keys. Um, or you can just get the digital only. This is a really good option for international customers. We're based here in the U.S. And shipping in general has gone through the roof. International shipping is really expensive. We can't control any of that. Um, we're going by rates that are live and real in our world. Um, so if you're an international customer, the digital version might be the ticket for you. So again, you can buy those just um, individually or um, you can buy the bundles and kind of get all these resources. Let's hop over to the tutorials. What, what does all of this look like? So here I am in the Horizons dashboard. Um, or in the dashboard for this in Horizons. Um, all of my teaching materials are hosted inside Horizons Flute School. Um, and then there's the Horizons Plus membership, which I won't talk about in this video, but if you have a question, feel free to leave that in the comment, comment section below. Um, also in this course, you're gonna get cheat sheets and cheat sheets are a really strong way um, that um, I found that it's really helpful for uh, breaking down a song and learning the different sections of the song and how do we move through those and progress So you'll get cheat sheets for each song. This shows you what embellishments I'm covering This does timestamps and measure markers for each song um, So it's a really valuable tool. I did the work for each one of these songs for you Adjustable playback speed. Um, this is on all videos inside Horizons. There's a, it, kind of the same thing for YouTube as well. If you're ever on YouTube and you click those settings, you can adjust the quality of the video. Um, so if you're buffering a lot, you can also change the quality uh, so it, um, it'll play a little um, easier or smoother for you. And then you can adjust the speed of uh, this. When you adjust the speed of a music type or any speaking or anything like that, then pitch is going to be affected by that. That's just how it goes. So if you slow it down, it's going to go lower. And if you speed it up, it's gonna be really high and it's gonna sound like a chipmunk. Um, keys of song. So here I lay out um, what the original key of the song was and then what key we've shifted it to, but also what keys um, are available for the backing tracks, okay? Now these video playback, this is something that we changed in this particular songbook. Um, so we have each one of the songs over here, listed over here. So you can click on the song that you're working on or a song that you want to work on. Here I have uh, selected after all. And so it gives me three videos dropping down from that. So this is the tips video. And in this video, let in this video, I walk through the song with you. So uh, common hiccup points, things like that, um, that we're going through. You can also access that cheat sheet right there. So as we go through here, I'm talking about certain points, whether it's fingering or a technique, something like that. But the really cool feature about this and what's going to help you grow as a musician, a flute player, but a musician, is what we have next. We have... Um, I have to give credit where credit is due. This is all thanks to Edward Court and Michael Desabres. They did an incredible job animating the sheet music to have a red cursor that moves through this. Now this isn't novel, but it, it, it hasn't shown up in, in our flute industry yet. So uh, we have seen things like this. So as you go through the, the song, there are two different versions of this. Uh, one is the full mix, meaning you're going to hear me play the flute. Okay, so I'll be playing the flute along just like in the recording. And so if you wanna play along with me, that's great. Or there's a backing track only. So you take the lead on this. You are the main flute that we're gonna hear um, as you play and perform this song. So looking at this, I wanted to give you a little idea of what this looks and sounds like. So I'm gonna start here around 30 seconds. I'm going to move over 
to the backing track only version so you can get an idea here. Oops, we're a little further along. You get to add the flute part to this. The thing I love about this, you'll notice, is as we go through this video, which is different than, say, if you're using a page turner, watch what happens. It just scrolls. So there's no page turns, there's no having to go from looking at this note and quickly going over here to the next page. It's all seamless. And I find that this is a really strong learning component for those of you that are looking to transition from, you know, watch my fingers do this thing to what do these notes mean? We do have the finger diagrams there too. So that's a, that's a really big bonus for some of you that are still in that transitionary period, not quite into the tablature system yet. So there's a lot, um, a lot of things that we changed, a lot of things that we, um, we kept the same, but I, I wanted to show you these things so that way it gives you a better idea of um, of the things that we're, we're looking to do in this songbook. So I know this has been a little bit of a, a lengthy video. I appreciate you hanging out here with me um, and getting the inside scoop of, of what all is included here. So if you have any questions about the flute, about the songbook, um, anything, please feel free to leave those in the comments below or send me an email if you have a question about Horizons or our membership Horizons Plus. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Take care and keep on making music.